Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 6th of February for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you some standout features to look out for, but please stay with me. As usual, I will dive deep to give you each of the 12 zodiac signs in forensic detail from Aries through to Pisces. Now this week begins with the potency of the full moon, which occurred at the end of last week, still reverberating through the heavens, particularly because the Sun and Uranus are in a tense right angle on Monday and Tuesday too. So anything to do with time management, whether it's around our social situation, our friendships, the things we want to do that are more creative for ourselves, there could be some disruption, last minute changes of plan or some costs. However, on Tuesday, a really seminal event occurs because Mercury comes out of its post-retrograde shadow. It went into its pre-retrograde shadow on the 12th of December. Now, of course, it came out of the retrograde itself on the 18th of January. But if things have been a bit sluggish or you've been waiting for some information, Mercury goes on to combine with Pluto this week. And there could be a very important development around a worldly matter, such as a job application, a business uh, a, a, a scenario, or perhaps to do with a goal or ambition. But then Mercury makes the transition into the sign of Aquarius, and that occurs on Saturday. And that's also really important because Mercury sparkles in Aquarius because it's a planet that's exalted in this sign. So, of course, Aquarius energy is very outgoing. It's very much to do with networking and friendships. So if we start this week feeling a little bit pulled around and a bit disorientated, by the end of the week, I think Mercury can help us to get things a little clearer. Now, also this week, from Monday through to Friday, Venus is in a uh, an energizing link with Uranus. Now, Venus in the sign of Pisces is a very mysterious influence, exalted, of course, itself. But this is provoking us to try something different or to surprise someone we're interested in or even surprise our partner by doing something that's fresh and stimulating because that can bring some magic to a relationship. But equally, it's an opportunity to think outside the box when it comes to our financial situation. Now, just to tell you, the two planets of fortune, Venus and Jupiter, the lesser and the greater benefit, from Monday to Friday are in a semi-sextile. So Jupiter in Aries is very much about initiative in the first house. And of course, Venus in the 12th could be about the things we do behind the scenes. Or it could be that some kind of benefit or piece of good fortune can be linked to a past good deed. So something can evolve quietly but rather pleasingly in the background of this week. Now if you are uh, a returning visitor thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new to my channel it's great to have you with me. Please like or comment. I interact with all comments. This is very much a community or subscribe. Now, if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and understand what the next year holds for you personally, if you give me three pieces of personal data of time, date and place of birth, I can give you your forecast, but also my special package of 30% off your life roadmap, which can help you to become more intimate with some of the planetary influences that have been aiding, but perhaps even hindering you at times. Please see the link beneath this video. You can also get your Zodiac, Vedic and Chinese forecast uh, for the next year completely free. So Capricorn, your week commencing the 6th of February forecast, suggests there can be a sense of urgency around grappling with the ins and outgoings around your financial situation. Now we've all collectively had to rethink and recalibrate our approach in some ways. And I feel that because of Uranus being in the mix on the full moon, which is priming up this energy, 
then you could also be thinking of trying some different or novel approaches and that's a very good thing. In fact, the Sun and Uranus continue to align in the first two days of this week. But the one thing that Uranus perhaps does encourage you to do is not to go for something that means that you're going against the grain on your usually very thorough and cautious nature. So you don't usually dive into situations without a lot of uh, care and due diligence. And I wouldn't let that part of, of you go, you know, stick with that approach. However, there could be an opportunity which does require you to make a, a quick decision. But the fact that Mercury emerges from its post retrograde shadow on Tuesday, then merges with Pluto in your sign in the latter part of this week, suggests that something that has interested you, perhaps that started when Mercury and Venus moved into Capricorn in uh, December, that you tried and maybe it gained a bit of traction, then it seemed to sort of just dissipate. And now you have an opportunity to reinvigorate that strand, or perhaps it's something new and more exciting that you're really going to go forwards with. But I think there has been uh, some kind of delay or frustration on something you did think was important. It's either been put to one side or you can re-engage with an adapted and modified version of it now and can start to see traction. So much so that by the time Mercury moves into Aquarius on Saturday, you might actually be feeling really pleased after all those weeks of delay and exasperation. Also, although Uranus does aggravate the sun this week, it delights Venus. So there could be a completely unexpected conversation which absolutely thrills you. It could be a text message, instant message, or just a, a, a chance encounter. But something can happen where there's some real electricity and it could be around your social situation, could be around your love life, but some kind of flirty, upbeat, upbeat or bright or vibrant energy can work its way into this week. So some of the frustration or uncertainty of earlier in the week can make way for some much more positive trends as the week draws to a close. Mm -hmm.